Hello, it is me, Something Wong from RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 1, and I am here to give you a couple of tips to get through the sadness of your elimination. Losing is the new Something. If loving you is Wong, I don't want to be white. <laughs> now, sashay away. Honestly, if she hadn't called my name, I would have been fine staying there and I would have slayed that next challenge. It's only a shock when it actually is a shock, but otherwise everyone in the back's like, thanks, I've already given you your note of goodbyes. <laughs> Love you long time. You know when you're going home. For me, on my episode, the instant I snap down a snatch game and Rue just gives me a question out of the blue. Have you come across any endangered species lately? I look her dead in the eye and go, the only species that I have come across may be the black rhino, but other than that, anyone who's gone home since is endangered to me. Oh. Silence. That was the moment I knew I was going home because from that point onwards, she asked everyone else questions and went to me and was just like, and on to the next. Actually, you know what, tell a lie. I made a fucking hilarious joke when I said Michelle would be um, something exotic like Five Spice. I've written Five Spice. Oh, five yes. Spice, five that's spice very nice. A, no one laughed because clearly no one knows how to cook. And if I was gonna be a Spice Girl, yeah, I'd be Five Spice. Yeah, because I'm Chinese. I only applied for the show because it is RuPaul's Drag Race and it is my favorite TV show of all time. To me, getting to be a part of that legacy and also having so many fans on Twitter now, it means I can shout into the void and people will listen. That's weird, isn't it? I like to use the notoriety I got from Drag Race to literally do better. So we're talking like literally every single right of anyone under the LGBTQIA plus umbrella. And I feel that's what we should do as drag queens. That's one of the parts that I've taken away from the legacy. Coco Jumbo, my dear, keep lighting up the world with that smile. Now, sashay away. Thank you so much for having me. I had the best time. I love you so much. Winning isn't everything, because no matter what you did on the show, you may have won the hearts of millions, like I did your unofficial Miss Congeniality of season one of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. If anyone says otherwise, I will slip them. I'm looking at you, Blue Hydrangea. If you don't already have a single, get one out now. If you can't sing, fake it. Other than that, literally enjoy the ride. It's not all about winning. Honestly, you have shown your art to the world and hopefully you have hundreds of thousands of people who adore you and want to support you in everything that you do. And honestly, it is an incredible feeling. So no hard feelings about not winning because at the end of the day, winning ain't everything, all right? You are still part of this show. You are part of this legacy. And you now have a sisterhood that spans literally the entire globe. You can message me. Honestly, I'm not that hateful, even though I may look like it online. We're all friends. We've all gone through the same thing together. And you know what? We've all gone through so many pitfalls. So if you need any advice, hit a hateful bitch up because we will help out. Because guess what? At the end of the day, we're sisters. <laughs> Remember, you still have one up on everyone else who's still there. You're allowed to go to the toilet with your mobile phone. Look at me. I didn't win, but I'm gorgeous. Oh, yes. Oh.